Hello everyone, this is your favorite Uncle Bob, back at you another video, and tonight we are looking at the Transformers Energon, Downshift, Cliff Jumper, Wheeljack, whatever they wanted to call him, he went through like three different names in the show. Thank you, Dubs. But yeah, I'm just going to call him Wheeljack because that's, that's what he, you know, yeah. But yeah, real quick to reiterate, at 50 subs, there will be a very special video, so don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and all the other youtube -y things. So, and thank you for the continued support, guys. It really does mean a lot. But anyways, this guy. Now, very nice figure, honestly. This is one of my first figures, along with uh, Silver Hotshot, that I got, and I blame these two for what happened next of me getting every single well minus two no three repaints of the energon autobots so yeah <laughs> but you know not a bad looking figure definitely wheel jackie and vibes get a close-up on that detail a very smooth finish i gotta say so got the nice exhaust too so, you know, not too much to talk about. So, he does come with three accessories, four if you count a missile. He comes with his spoiler, which, spoiler alert, can go back here and really complete that look. He comes with this gun, and he comes with this gun that has the missile. So, yeah, you can plug it into any 5mm port on either side. And I don't know, that's an interesting place to put your Energon Star because the ones that the Autobots came with, um, it, it almost protrudes a little bit too much. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. So you can plug these in. That. So there you go. And for a real quick size comparison, here we have Silver Streak, Hot Rod, or not Hot Rod, gosh. This guy. Hot shot. <laughs> you notice how many pots there are in Transformers? <laughs> but, yeah. Alright. Oh, and for a real quick gimmick, he can technically open his doors to reveal nothing, honestly. Right, I'm gonna have to use this gun. Come on. Come on. Don't make a liar out of me. There we go. So, yeah, can reveal stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's get on the transformation. So you want do want to remove all the accessories just for right now. Then you want to come to let's go to the arms. So kind of just unpeg them from here and here, and look, there's also a tab that goes in underneath doors. It might help to open the doors, but it is stuck. There we go. Okay. So just kind of wiggle everything from free. Lift up the door. If you can, I would recommend opening the door prior to this, but my fingers are not skinny enough for this. There we go. And lift up the door. Come on. There we go. And just kind of bring down what will be the arms. So next you want to come to this section. Kind of just bring it forward on the double hinge. Flatten it out. And turn them around. And we're basically almost already there. So you want to take this piece. Flip it back. Split his legs. Open up his shins. And flip around the feet. And they give you this nice... They give you two tabs to pull from. If I can even get one to work, it'll be great. There we go. Nope. Come on. Bring down the feet. Flip that back in. And open them up. Alright. Same thing on the other side. Just kind of... There we go. Come on. There was also a minor repaint of this guy into an actual wheel jack, I believe. Uh, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. I would like to get it just to have him for shirt mode, but anyways. So, man, I just realized he is out of frame. Alright, and here we go. Here we have Wheeljack in his robot mode. 
in a row, not a bad looking figure. So, get that nice wheel jaggy vibe. The only real kibble is, you know, his massive calves and this piece that kind of gets in the way, but eh, not too, too bad, honestly. Get a close up on that head sculpt. Come on. Overall, a very nice looking wheel jacky head sculpt. So, yeah. For articulation, he's got ball joint at the shoulder, so 360 around. Can go up all the way. And he's got an elbow bend of eh, about 90. And nothing at the waist. Oh, head is on a very limited ball joint. He can only look up about that far. Forget down. Left about left and right. A little under what you would need. But again, these are Energon figures. You're not going to be pulling anything like legacy dynamic poses. <laughs> he can go out all the way. And nothing. I mean, we're that type of knee bend. That looks very painful. Golly. Uh, back, if you get this piece out of the way, he's got probably like 45 degrees. So, uh, above the knee, or below the knee rotation. And feet can go forward and back with the heels and the feet being able to move as well. So, yeah. Overall, a, more poseable than most of the figures. Now, he can hold his accessories if you want. You can just, you know, leave this on the back. And just kind of forget about it. Or, and he can also, you know, hold these just fine. If you rather him hold one weapon, he can plug all of these in together and make one weird double blaster thing that he can hold. I don't remember if he ever used that in the show, though. But, yeah. Overall, not a bad little blaster th thing. Get him standing straight. Come on. All right. And for a real quick size comparison, here we have. Uh, uh, I keep wanting to call him Hot Rod tonight, and I don't know why. This is Hot Shot. Yeah, this guy. Overall, you know, not a. He's you know, about your average deluxe. And honestly, I think they all pretty much eye to eye. So yeah. All right, let's get him into. I'm gonna do shirt mode because eh, why not? It's not he's not a bad one. So you want to start off by just kind of getting everything out of the way. Flip his feet like you're going into vehicle mode or from vehicle mode. Come on, there we go. Flip up, flip up. Next, just kind of get this piece out of the way. Split at the legs. Come on. They do tap together, which is he's the only one to actually do this out of all the deluxes. I don't, that, that makes no sense. <laughs> but then you want to come up to this, flip it back, kind of all the way, rotate 180. Then just pull an iron hide and put it back down. Take his legs, bring them down, and just kind of rotate them forward. And do whatever you want with these, kind of angle them. Or, you know, whatever. Alright, so let me go get him some pants real quick. He's going to stand. He is not going to stand. So I'll be right back. Wait, something's not right here. How did he end up down there? He should be up there. Oh, wait, I know. There we go. Now he's in the right place, but these don't look... Uh, let me fix this real quick. Okay, now that looks about right. He's a tall fellow. So, yeah, you know. Again, I like to... Some of these combinations, I like to flip Prowl's chest plate around. But, honestly, with him... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've never tried this combination before. And it, it does not work. Like, it just, it just doesn't. He's got too much stuff going on. And, honestly, I don't know what to... Do with his smaller robot arms. So, yeah, he just has four arms. How about that? So, yeah, not the best of shirts. He's just kind of busy. And let's see how he looks with Hot Shot instead. Honestly, but as far as a couple goes, he is pretty clean. Whoa. 
pretty clean, honestly. Oop. All right, so get this, get that down, get that up. Come on. Okay. Um, yeah, not any better. Just how about just don't do him in shirt mode. So, all right, give me one second, and I will get him back into a semi-robot mode, and we'll go to pants mode. Okay, so here we have him back in semi-robot mode. Just like all the other ones, I left the... F well, not like all the other ones, but you know what I mean. I left the feet flipped up because you're going to have to flip it up anyways. And, yeah. So, to go from here, you just kind of want to bring it... Why did I... Hold on. I don't know why I thought he had to bring up the feet. Ugh. I am tired, guys. It has been one of those days. Come on. You know you want to. Okay, give me one second to fight with the feet. Okay, we got the feet out. So, yeah, ignore me. You do want to flip out the feet for this mode. Um, yeah. So, just kind of bring everything back, honestly, and just get it how you want. So, eh, you know, overall, for pants mode, he makes the better of the pair. Him and Inferno, honestly, in my opinion, make more solid pants than... Well, most. Actually, Inferno, Prowl, for some of the characters, and him. So, yeah. Let me just get in Hotshot, because that is... He honestly solves the issue with my Hotshot, because his backpack doesn't like to stay up. So I just kind of use his arms to hold it up a little bit. There we go. Oop. So, yeah. Oh, no, nope, don't, don't fall forward. So, yeah, you know, honestly, this works. It, it really works pretty well. So, would I recommend him? Yes, absolutely. He is a very solid figure, and at the, you know, just, a, I like him. He's cool. <laughs> I don't know why they couldn't name him Wheeljack, unless they just didn't have the rights at the time. But, yeah. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time for another video review.